Hello everyone, welcome to Edit App and welcome to the success story session. In front of us with us today, we have Mr. Navneet who has cleared RBI grade B recently. And today we have him for telling his strategy that how he came to clear the RBI grade B. So he will be telling about his story himself. And first of all, heartiest congratulations to you, sir, for clearing RBI grade B. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let's know about him from him only. Uh, sir, please share with us that uh, about your education background. Yes, I have done civil engineering and after that I have been preparing for civil services. I have given five attempts and meanwhile I came up with an RBI. I was looking for a backup for UPSC and this was my third attempt at RBI and I cleared this year. Okay, so you had a long journey of preparing for uh, government exams, I can say, competitive exams. So there must be many uh, things that you have learned on the way. So today we will understand from him, today we will learn from him that what he learned in his way of becoming a RBI grade B officer. So first of all, sir, is there any message that you want to give to the aspirants that have been preparing for such a long time and they have been demotivated in the process because of course, after giving two exams, three exams, you become a little demotivated. So how you kept your motivation at such a high level that after after all, after the trouble, you came and became the RBA grade B officer. Uh, see, patience and perseverance. Uh, these two are the key. But uh, I will, I will confess that uh, it is not possible for a human to be on a high motivation for six continuous years. So initially, when I started for UPSC, I was very motivated. Then when I was failing again and again, demotivated. Then I came across RBI, and with the first for the first attempt, I cleared within uh, cleared the phase one with almost a, a month's preparation. So that gave me some confidence. Then that year I had missed by twenty five marks, missed the interview call by twenty five marks. Later I gave RBI again. I got confidence again because I had missed the interview by just two marks. So I, somewhere at the back of my mind, I was clear that one or two hair was time ki kami hai. So this year, uh, I dedicated some time for RBI. I did not have too much time, but whatever time I had, a handful of days. So even in that time, I gave my best for RBI and I got the result. So uh, in a nutshell, uh, I have been waiting for this topper stock fit for six long years so finally hum yaha pe aage, but it, it has been a very long journey with ups and downs so it is uh, it, it was a great learning experience for me and i'm happy now yeah so your family like how what was the reaction what was the first reaction when you came to know that you have cleared the rbi grade b this year and when your fam family came to know about the result Yes, uh, more than me, my family was sure that I will clear. But when the results were declared, the PDF came and I was shivering. I wrote the roll number on a piece of paper and gave it to my parents. They saw, they started crying and then I saw we were all happy. So that's it. Yeah. yeah. So your family must be really proud of you that yes, though yes. it was a long journey, but you still, you reached to, to the goal and you had the patience to reach the discipline to reach the goal, because of course it's studying for six years. It's not an easy task, but still you continued your journey and you became the RBI grade B officer that many aspirants are trying to be now. So you are a motivation, I can say for so many aspirants. I can't even tell the number that so many aspirants will be looking up to you. So now coming to the interview part that uh, uh, sir will be telling his strategy for the phase one, for the phase two, for the interview also. He also has some notes prepared to show you that how you can yes. write the answers in a good no, way. Uh, please let, let me interrupt you. So whoever is watching this video, uh, I am going to make sure that I am going to set a new benchmark for Docker Talk today. So you will actually get to see what I have prepared, how I have prepared, especially the phase two, how I have, how I have written the answers. Because usually what happens is top us give some oral advice and you don't really know what to do. So I'm going to show you and that should set the benchmark for other toppers who are going to give topper stocks in the future. That's really nice, sir. So let's start with phase one. Now, sir has said that he will be 
telling you all about the strategy, all about what he has prepared and all about how he has prepared. So now let's understand from him only that how he prepared for the phase one. So, sir, starting with in the phase one, GA is the subject that has a lot of weightage, but most of the students are afraid because there is too much to understand, too much to learn, I can say. There is too much uh, remembering that has to be done. So how you prepared, how you focused on GA? Let me put it this way. There is too much to remember, actually. Not Learning may not be there because hmm. RBI current affairs is mostly fact-based. Yeah. So for that, uh, I would suggest uh, six, uh, one has to read the current affairs for six months prior to the phase one. And how, how you read that is uh, all the classes like EduTap and others, they come up with compilations, one-liner, two-liner compilations, Q&A type of PDFs. Just refer to that. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just mm -hmm. read that six months. See, uh, in the I, I'll tell you from my experience, first attempt, I read only three months, but uh, by chance questions came, most of the questions came from that time. But in later attempts, I realized that they are going backwards. Six, uh, four, five, six months. So this year I started from uh, October of last year. So I have covered almost seven or eight months, maybe. I don't remember. So at least six months you have to do for reasoning. Uh, again, classes come up with question banks. Two things. One is question banks. So uh, for example, for reasoning, there are many subtopics. For instance, wait. like Venn diagrams and family relations, blood relations, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So for every such topic, uh, you need to practice. Uh, I won't give a num uh, number, but uh, practice till the point that you become confident in that topic. That's it. So I had to uh, practice blood relations only some 10, 15 questions. But Venn diagrams, I found it very difficult. So I practice almost 40, 50 questions. But yeah, so that is how you have to prepare for that. Uh, one thing I told was, uh, other thing is, uh, classes, uh, they they have interactive websites and daily you can practice some five, six questions and topic wise. So that also helps. So in this attempt, I was uh, severely short of time because my UPSC was coming in between, RBI was there and also I, as a backup of backup, I was attempting state services. So everything came together. That within a month, everything was coming. So I for this year, I gave only two weeks for phase one. But uh, for in that, entirely GA, current affairs, and others only practice. That's it. Okay. So the strategy that uh, you yeah, follow. One thing I'd like, I'd like to add. Uh, like I said, practice daily five, six questions from the website. These are timed tests. So you should be uh, thorough. You should be, uh, you should get used to writing, solving questions within time because in the actual paper, they have sectional timings. Hmm. So uh, if you have comparisons, it will be, you will uh, lose uh, track of time. So do both. Yeah, so that, that's it for phase one. Okay. Not much I can give because I did not need to prepare, especially for phase one, only practice. Okay. So, yes. So, what we learned is that for the GA, six months of the current affairs is good, though you can go back towards nine months, but six months is a must. Like, at least you should do six months of the preparation for GA, as well as now coming to the reasoning and quant. Uh, they are the subjects if you are very thorough with the GA, you, if you are very good with the English, then you can. Uh, and you are not very sure about the QR, uh, the quant and reasoning, especially. So you can just practice it, continue with the practice, continue doing five, 10 questions daily on the daily basis. And then you can move forward with that. Now, yes. coming to the revision. No, just, 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 uh, yes. uh, especially for quant and reasoning, you need to know which type of questions you can solve fast and which type of questions you cannot solve fast. And there's a third type which you cannot solve at all. So you should learn to leave questions rather than solve all the questions because yeah. you will be penalized. So. Yeah, do not get stuck in some questions that you are not able to solve mm -hmm. or you are not very confident about. Mm -hmm. Just solve that in the chapters you know that you are confident about. Practice it a lot. Now coming to the revision part because in general awareness, there is 
revision is a must. You cannot remember so many facts all the time. So how many times of the revision is necessary or how many times you revised uh, the things? Yes, uh, ma'am, I revised three or four times. Okay. It is seemingly not possible to remember everything in one go or even twice. You have to go for three or four times. Some, I think some people have done five or six. Yeah. Because there is so much of data to remember, numbers and names of personalities, places. Yes. So, and do you think that uh, handwritten notes are a must for the GA or you just uh, took the PDFs? No, uh, only PDFs. Okay. Notes are not, but but uh, if somebody is joining your courses, then you might make them write some notes, uh, some condensed notes. I, I don't know about that, but some people have said that they used to join your courses. That, I think that was that is enough. They need, need not refer PDFs separately. But since I didn't have anything, I referred only PDFs. Okay. So it's your choice. If you remember things better with, in the handwritten way, I have seen my friends, they usually write things and then it, they used to remember. So it's up to you that you want the handwritten notes or you can just highlight the PDFs. That is also good. It is time saving. I can say you can revise better with that also. So now coming to the phase two, starting with English. Did you prepare anything for the English section, descriptive section, or you were confident that I will be able to do? Uh, Ma'am, for phase, uh, phase two English, uh, again, uh, there is grammar. And uh, you have to focus on two things. That is, one is grammar comprehension and another is answer writing. So I was confident about grammar comprehension. So I didn't have to learn English, especially for phase one or phase two, anything. But uh, for, uh, for phase two, I made sure that I practice a lot because I was into the habit of writing very long sentences especially putting commas, 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 I can go up to five or six lines, just one sentence. So that has to be avoided, especially if you have to write a pressy, you have to learn to make it crisp. So uh, till last year, my uh, focus was how to write certain words, which will impress the exam, impress. But this year I sort of changed my attitude. I use simple words and crisp, pressy, even essay was crisp and impactful, but uh, short and sweet. That That is all. You don't have to do some huge drama about English. Just simple things. Just focus on completing the paper. Okay. So it's like English. In English, you have to write in short, crisp sentences. You do not make it very lengthy, a single sentence. Uh, try to make it crisp so that the person that is uh, reading also he will also be able to understand everything very easily. Even in uh, like in most of the students, this is the problem that uh, once we start writing, we continue writing in the same sentence or just making the sentences lengthy and confusing. So that should not be there. Now, did you give any uh, mock test for English or did you practice English a lot or means uh, the keyboard is also usually not good in the exam centers now? Yes, yes, so yes. Uh, Did you uh, practice uh, for that? La last year, I had uh, last year the syllabus had changed, hmm. so I, I had taken the EduTabs Big Daddy All India mock test. Yeah. So that helped a lot. That had English, FM, yes, all papers were there. Hmm. So that gave me a confidence. And yes, regarding typing, see, uh, for English, I I have written one answer on Quora. You can go through that. Aspirants can go through that. I've written in that that even if you are from ICAC convent, anything, high Ponda English schools, you have to give respect to English, mm -hmm. because uh, that is where these those are your marks. You can't afford to lose lose them. So practice, practice, keep practicing. And yeah, regarding typing, see, uh, I. I don't have fingers in one hand. So I had to put special efforts towards typing. So even if you are uh, able-bodied, still you have to practice because their keyboards can be a bit rough or uh, difficult to punch in. The keys can be difficult to punch in. That has happened. I've seen two or three different kinds of keyboards in three different attempts. So be ready for whatever can come your way. So that one, is... more thing, one more thing I would like to add, uh, since I had practiced so much uh, on the day of the phase two exam, uh, 
I had gone, had gone sleepless. I, I, I said I had not had sleep the night before, and uh, I by the time the English paper came, I was almost like a zombie. I was unable to think too much. But since I had the momentum from the practice, that helped me. So you have to prepare even for such contingencies. आप बीमार हो गए आपको सर्दी हो रही है कुछ भी हो सकता है एग्जाम में तो इसके लिए प्रैक्टिस करो आदत डालो दैट्स इट ट्रू दैट्स सो ट्रू दैट प्रैक्टिस इज द थिंग दैट दैट विल बी विद यू ये हो गया इंग्लिश का यस यस या सो प्रैक्टिस इज द थिंग दैट यू हैव टू डू सो दैट इन द एग्जाम यू आर एबल टू have any situation you are able to face any situation that is coming in front of you let it be anything you are tired you are hungry or something so you are able to face anything because you have practiced a lot you have sat in front of the computer and you have typed you have sat for there for 3 or 4 hours so you have to practice yes. that it will not come naturally to you like sir has also said he practiced a lot even if you are very good in english you are from some very good schools still it is like you have to give the respect because it is it carries a lot of marks marks so now coming to esi let's start with the esi now for phase 2 how did you prepare for the esi yes uh, ma'am for esi just a second let me see my notes i'll tell you yes for esi ma'am uh, since i had a uk background frankly speaking i did not need much of a preparation for esi hmm. but then again typing practice that was needed uh, yeah regarding sources i can tell uh, sri ram book it is useful for both esi and fm hmm. as well as uh, ncrts you may refer or even class classes give very good material i have seen some pdfs but i could not read them because i saw them at the last moment but yes classes do give very good material and current affairs you can refer uh, vision is magazine or any other class magazine uh, uh, you i am talking about the upsc sources but even here edutab is good i have seen your pdfs and one more thing uh, just uh, reading the this news is not enough you have to add your own examples case studies from daily news as in you are uh definitely reading some newspaper or something so add that and that will enhance your marks true so it was like uh, the upsc background the upsc preparation helped you a lot in the asi section we can say because if, uh, the education the study never goes to waste the things yes. that you have learned that is with you only so that no, is no, really no, one more thing uh yes. listening to this aspirants might think to abhi to upsc ki preparation karni padegi fir rba clear hoga aisa nahi hai मेरे केस में मुझे टाइम कम था और वैसे भी मैंने प्रिपेयर किया था तो मुझे फायदा हो गया प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूपीएससी आई वुड रादर सजेस्ट कोई क्लास का कोर्स ले लो और वहां पे आपको सब मटेरियल गाइडेंस सब मिल जाएगा तो यू डोंट हैव टू गो फ्रॉम पिलर टू पोस्ट टू सर्च फॉर गाइडेंस yeah but it's like your study that you have studied for 5 mm-hmm. years you have prepared for 5 years wo waste nahi hua yes. uh, that helped you a lot to jo jo bhi aspirants hain they are preparing for a long time if yes. they are preparing to they are preparing for 2 3 years so aapki padhai waste nahi jayegi it will help you in some way or another that's the message i think that is there and sir has also said that preparation waste nahi jati lekin aisa bhi nahi hai ki upsc padha hai tabhi you will be able to clear mm-hmm. rbi mm-hmm. there are many students uh, that are not from the UPSC PSC background that are clearing in the first attempt or second attempt mm-hmm. of RBI only, so it goes both way. So now coming to the FM. Now I am interested in in knowing that you have like civil engineering background. So mm-hmm. finance and management, how did you cater to that? Aspirants also that are from the engineering yes, background, they must be thinking also that we are from engineering background. We do not know about mm-hmm. FM mm-hmm. or the finance or management. So that is the mm-hmm. loophole I mm-hmm. can say. For finance and management, there are two parts. One is finance, other is management. Finance part, as I said, Sri Ram's economy book is very is very relevant. In fact, hmm. for even not just UPSC, even for RBI, it covers a lot of things. That is there, and other. I'm telling about the sources first, and then economic survey, budget, RBI website. They on that you can find certain reports. Yes, in fact, I will show you. how to yes this was just a second hmm. this was the rbi's 
financial justice stability report yes. financial stability report this and this was not a full report please note this yeah, this is this just is... one page this is a summary of the report highlights so, yeah yes just highlight and whatever you can remember from this you remember i some five six points are there even you can remember two three points that's more than enough remember these numbers these are most important and when you mention about this in your answers that will enhance your marks because the examiner gets uh, an impression that you are someone who reads reports and who is not just throwing random arguments and you can substantiate your arguments with these facts or reports so this is how you do it and uh, this was the uh, coming back to esi this was uh, the national family health survey 5 nfhs 5 so this was a I got it from somewhere and these annotations I have made for my own understanding and when I read, revise, I revise only these small parts. I don't have to go through the entire report again. And, and as, as you can see here, please note, uh, for instance, uh, birth registration is lowest in Nagaland at 73%. So nowhere in the report in the NFHS 5 have they mentioned why is it lowest. But mm. if, if you apply some common sense, you can see in Nagaland there are security issues, there is APSPA, there is insurgency, there is uh, connectivity issues, it is a hilly area, social services are poor. And hence, birth registration is low, even vaccination rate is low, electricity poor, sanitation poor. Like that, you can uh, connect things and you don't have to remember too many facts if you know these arguments just two or three facts from these and that's enough but please do uh, pick facts and data examples from such reports yes yes that's true and that is really nice to see like uh, even if you are not making the handmade notes you can have the notes like yes, this yes. it like the in the highlighted form so that whenever you pick it up and you know you just see the data you just see everything in front of you and you can remember it yes. so yes. even if you do not have the time to make handwritten notes sir mm -hmm. has just suggested a great way that you can just highlight the notes the highlight the pdfs that you have got okay from any of the sources so that is really great to see sir now come like fm uh, uh, financial management did you uh, study you only studied from books or did you focus on the youtube sessions also yes yes i have benefited from youtube sessions from general internet wherever jahape gyan milta hai le lo that is my funda yeah but stick to the syllabus that's the yeah, see, it is not just uh, uh, when i was preparing for upsc a uh, teacher told me don't be a collector of notes be a collector so even here you don't have to be a collector of notes you have to be an officer so whatever notes you make or take from somewhere keep it to the bare minimum so that you can remember at the end of the day you just have a huge collection you're filling up your storage true and yes, uh, yes ma'am uh, i would like to come to the answer writing part of finance before we move on to management is that yeah. okay yeah yeah sure so yeah. sir has told about the objective like if you want you have the pdfs and you can highlight now coming to mm -hmm. the descriptive part that how you can write the answers yes sir yes uh, this was the big daddy test which i told about earlier this was from edutab and this answer was not written by me it was written by someone else and at that time i was not writing very good answers okay i was writing average answers but this person had written very good answers so I got this and uh, I highlighted here so that I can pick points from here. And see, as you can see, I've made annotations everywhere and added to my answer, which I later on written for self-practice. This is one part that is picking good things from others. Hmm. Other part is practice yourself. This, this is uh, my answer from last year as you can see i have mentioned the financial stability report here what are what is the gnpa gross npa levels etc and as you know, it begins with an introduction then what are the reasons for npas and then uh, even in that i have made uh, subheadings issues with banks and issues with borrowers and then how to tackle the npas mm -hmm. so uh, remember uh, if rbi or any other exam you are uh, appearing for they ask you what what are the issues with something 
you write the issues but you also mention some solutions because you are uh, not going to be a journalist you are not going to be an activist you are going to be an officer you have to be solution oriented so always be ready with solutions but uh, as i said arguments facts uh, merits demerits or advantages disadvantages of everything almost everything and then uh, solutions so that makes a comprehensive preparation true so that is really good to see sir has said that learn from everywhere and then practice yourself that's the yes. point here that sir, sir has also learned like from the big daddy mock test of edit app sir has picked up a very good answer that it seems so clean and then he was able to uh, replicate that he was able to make a much better answer or a, a better answer or a very good answer we can say so that is really nice to see sir that uh, mm -hmm. it was really a nice answer that you have uh, written all the points very clearly so that's your point also that learn from everywhere but then make your own strategy make your own practice notes and practice a lot practice nothing can be practiced and, and as, as mama said uh, write clearly yeah yet yeah, uh, you might say that yahan pe handwriting nahi hoti but still even if you type there is a huge possibility of typing shabbily hmm. so the examiner should be able to differentiate your sub parts in the question so right uh, use uh, caps lock i mean capital letters small letters uh, use brackets because in the actual exam you can't uh, use bold or italics hmm. or underlines they have a very basic kind of uh, uh, input system hmm. so you have to make do with capitals and small letters and brackets practice with that yeah so yeah like when i saw the answer also i was also like i don't know that what the question was i didn't read that but i also it was like so attractive that i also wanted to read that that yeah it, he has written so clearly and sir has also written so clearly so now i hope that the students have learned about the esi about the fm that uh, you can no, follow I, i have covered esi and uh, finance, finance i will yes. move to management management on management as you know uh, being from an engineering background who has not done mba so i had to put in some special efforts for management and for that uh, uh, classes will give uh, notes pdfs if Uh, people have enrolled but i since i have not enrolled anywhere i from from wherever i got uh, any kind of uh, notes or any kind of explanation just google or even youtube videos i made my own notes i would like to show hmm. very crisp notes and here yeah, these are my management notes so as you can see yeah this is the big five model of personality then yeah this is the motivation maslow's need hierarchy theory etc hmm. so in all uh, i was using just this hmm. i wrote my notes in this this small book okay you can okay it is blurred but yeah hmm. this is the size of the book and in that i wrote only some 18 pages if you if you are using a4 that will be 9 pages in that even that you can compress and bring that down to 5 pages that is full of uh, management theories because you have they will ask uh, questions directly based on theories mm -hmm. or uh, apply type Absolutely. of questions for example what are the issues in corporate governance like that so you have to use those theories and uh, for phase 2 for all the papers uh, uh, keep uh, you have to follow the syllabus And not some book like as i suggested sri ram book you don't have to read the book from cover to cover uh, follow the topics read from wherever you get ticking there and move on and as far as yeah and for management uh, they have a corporate ethics part there are two parts now one is theory theories and then the other part is corporate ethics so i didn't have to read corporate ethics part because that was uh, somehow cleared in the upsc preparation but yes theories i had to prepare and as i said questions can be applied or direct and one more thing uh, there are many theories uh, given in the syllabus so you might uh, aspirants might tend to think that okay i will prepare some 80% of the theories i will prepare fully 
बट आई वुड सजेस्ट प्रिपेयर एवरी थियोरी थोड़ा था थोड़ा सा बेसिक हर चीज के बारे में आपको मालूम करना है बिकॉज इधर दे विल आस्क इन द डिस्क्रिप्टिव और दे विल आस्क इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द फेज टू एस 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 पेरेंट्स माइट नो फेज टू हैज बोथ ऑब्जेक्टिव प्लस डिस्क्रिप्टिव सो बी रेडी फॉर थियोरी इवन इन ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप आई थिंक दिस इयर दे आस्ट अबाउट कंटीजेंसी फीडलेस कंटीजेंसी थियोरी सो बिकॉज आई रेड द थियरीज आई मैनेज टू अटेम्प्ट सम 18 out of 20 objective questions that yeah. helped yeah so that is really nice so we have learned from sir that how he managed esi and finance so practice he practiced a lot he understood the pattern that uh, should be there uh, for writing especially then coming to the management of course the from, coming from the engineering background uh, sir also didn't had the a background of management so he prepared his own notes he wrote in a clear way he made his own notes the diagrams were there and everything so that you under, remember and you have the revision for the revision also uh, the notes are there for you so now coming to the last part that is the interview so after clearing mains you had to prepare for interview uh, so how was the that feeling like after uh, you saw the mains result okay i have cleared it now i have to prepare for interview so what were your sources for that the feeling and the sources both yes uh, this was going to be my first interview in as many years both in upsc and here so that was an extra special feeling and i yes for interview just a second ha huh. for interview the uh, first thing i did was i went through the interview transcripts of previously appeared candidates so there are they, i think they are freely available on the internet and i think uh, on my quora answer i have shared the links so and that is about the transcripts and the top of talks like what we are giving right now i have seen i have seen almost 20 25 top of talks from various posting classes edutap was the prominent in them and i picked up questions that could be asked to me based on my profile mm-hmm. for instance uh, somebody was from civil engineering background and upsc background so i picked up some question from there Uh, like that so that uh, so first know what kind of questions are asked from transcripts and the proper talks then for the resources uh, there is the functions and working of rbi pdf on the rbi website uh, a word of caution here you don't have to uh, read this document fully and completely you just have to get an idea of this because once you qualify anyway you have to read this during the training so hmm. you just have to get an idea about that what is rbi what does it do its preamble etc its history hmm. and the rbi website on the website you will find uh, governors deputy governors speeches and then the monetary policy committee minutes of minutes of that meeting so the and then uh, reports and documents like the payments vision 2025 national strategy for the financial inclusion and so on uh, so uh, this is important you have to read the reports as well and as i showed you earlier uh, annotate right there or you make your own notes depends on you but uh, just as i will show that also Okay, I think I lost it. Yeah. So that uh, I'll tell you how the reports are helpful. Uh, they might ask you questions like, uh, which department of the RBI would you like to work in? Hmm. So first, from the functions and working, you have to know which departments are there, and then as per your background, you have to relate. one or two departments and then tell them so i had thought that i would go for financial inclusion since i don't have a economics background so i did not go for supervision or other departments so uh, i had prepared for a uh, financial inclusion a digital payments uh, in uh, those kind of activities 
Uh, so uh, in during the in the transcripts, I had noted that they are asking, they are going deeper into that, and they will ask, "Have you read this report?" And if we say no, then that will give a wrong, that will give a bad impression that you don't read the report, you only read the class notes and you have come here. And in case you say yes, then they will ask you questions on that. So be prepared anyway. So you have to read these reports. Make short notes. And this is about the resources. Then take mock interviews. I, I took three mock interviews and EduTap mock interviews was the third and uh, the last one and it was uh, six days close uh, close to the exam and it gave me a big confidence boost because uh, uh, the interviewers they gave me extra time because i was able to answer in a better way as compared to my previous mock interviews and they also gave me some critical inputs like uh, rbi balance sheet it's questions can be asked on that i had not prepared the numbers but I knew what is where, but I didn't know the numbers. So if I don't didn't know the numbers, that again can create a bad impression because as an officer, number ka thoda to idea hona hmm. So this is the inputs I got from A. Raja sir. And again, uh, uh, Ram Badia was also there. He also gave me extra time. He gave, uh, he touched upon uh, social issues because in my bio data, I had written, I have worked for NSS in my hmm. college days. So he connected with that. And th this is how mock interviews help and they will give you the confidence. They will help you fill the gaps. Mm. Uh, yes. And uh, during the actual interview, uh, you, you cannot uh, prepare fully for any interview, be it RBI or any other interview. Just you have to have an open mind. Mm. Be ready for any question that might come. So sharing my own experience, uh, the first question the uh, chairman sir asked me is okay so you have prepared uh, what were you doing after graduation i said i was studying for civil services then he made some face and he said okay six years okay 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 fine we won't get into that we will move ahead yeah, so, and then he asked me if i have read some economics book mm -hmm. which is not a textbook not a class notes and i said obviously i said no because i was stuck in a prelims main cycle for five or six long years. I could I could not get the time to read some Adam Smith or John Maynard mm -hmm. Keynes. Mm -hmm. time And I think he knew that somewhere aspirants will not read this these uh, those books, especially someone who is from an engineering background who is not an economist. So if if I had bluffed there, I had mm -hmm. said yes, then I first go. So bluff not karna. Uh, but but in spite of that, in spite of knowing that aspirants like me would not read, he went on to say, uh, again, he made a very serious face and he said, uh, we have uh, high walls here and you have to somehow make your road through this. Mm -hmm. in, that is to say that you have to put extra effort to impress us that, mm -hmm. indirectly. But that created a pressure situation and even... Uh, for the interviews after me, he was uh, creating the same pressure situation initially. Mm. So be prepared for that also. So that when the other interviewers ask you, you do not carry a hang of the earlier person and you approach all the questions afresh. And with regards to the hobby, uh, I had mentioned cricket. So they asked me how to bowl swing. And since I was bowling only uh, with tennis balls and tennis balls, I didn't know how to swing with leather balls. So I, initially I started with, sir, I, I don't know how to bowl. I have not practiced. Then his immediate uh, reaction was he gave a he smirk and I realized that, okay, he is not impressed with my answer. And then I uh, tried to, then I corrected myself. And I told them that, okay, this is how it is done, but I have not practiced myself. I had heard this from commentators. So what you learn here is uh, you have to show them that you have your eyes and ears open, even if you're not doing something and you have an interest in that, but you are still able to uh, learn mm -hmm. from others and apply it in your field somehow. And uh, that was for me and for others. Someone had mentioned uh, hobby as movies. So they asked who is the director, who is the writer, editor of that so-and-so film. So if you are watching movie for only for time pass, 
if you don't know what is the genre of that movie and who has made it etc then you are bound to be fired mm-hmm. so prepare your uh, hobby seriously that, that is the message okay so what we learned for, uh, is that uh, you have taken a mock interview and that has prepared that has given the confidence because of course you are handling the questions that are, that is given by a uh, very prominent people so then but when you go to the interview that is a different situation the pressure you feel is totally different as well as there uh, we usually hear that the panel was very cordial the panel was very good but actually when you go inside you feel the pressure even if the panel is cordial so you do not have to go like ki kuch pressure nahi hoga bahut acche se jayega you have to think that yes main nervous hunga but i have to control that nervousness and sir also said ki pressure tha but after that you have you do not have to hang on to the one person because there are other panel members also and you have to respect them you have to answer them yes. nicely also so that's yes, really one, nice one more thing i would like to add to that uh, initially they created a pressure situation they kept me low hmm. then they were cordial so i started flying then they tried to bring me in line so so they want uh, someone with a moderate outlook and you should not look like you are adamant adamant either to to be a low quality officer or be a very over confident kind of a person mm-hmm. they want you to accept your mistakes they want you to correct yourself at the right time and also be humble and be confident yeah yeah that these are the qualities of uh, officer i can say humble and calm so yes so as sir has also said that even if there is pressure you have to handle it you have to become if you want if you really want to become the officer you have to handle that pressure and you are at the last stage where you are just going to become the officer so of costly now there is also a psychometric test so can you tell a little about that i forgot to ask about that ma'am uh on the internet uh, you can find uh, tests on personality tests like intj these mm-hmm. kind of personalities they come up with when so in in that psychometry test they ask you uh, simple questions if this happens what will you do mm-hmm. and they, they, i think they have some five or six pages of uh, questions bahut sare questions hote hain aur usi question ko do baar teen baar ghuma ghuma ke pucha jata hai okay if a equal to b then what will you do if b equal to a what will you do so you have to then agree disagree ex- uh, uh, to usme what the trick is you should be consistent so initially if you say that you strongly agree with something for example uh, uh, at workplace uh, women safety ka kuch bahut measures lene chahiye agree strongly agree strongly disagree matlab see everybody will say strongly agree definitely mm-hmm. but if they rephrase it in on the third or fourth page then you should not say agree or disagree fir usse samajhta ki aap you don't have integrity you are not consistent in your values or thought process waise lekin usme kisi ko fail nahi karte bas wo ek personality test wala hai okay so you do not have to be much afraid about the psychometric mm-hmm. test though give it seriously because it is of course checking your integrity and mm-hmm. how the thought process you have mm-hmm. so yes so we have learned about the phase 1 the phase 2 sir has also shown her uh, his notes and that were re- that was really great i hope you have learned a lot that how you should be writing the answers how you should be even if you do not want to make your own notes at least highlight the notes write the annotations and all so that you remember the points that are coming in your mind at the first point like it happens with me also if i am studying something and i get confused i get the answer at that time but after if i read it after two months i am again confused about the same point mm-hmm. so yeah you should write the points that okay this is the point that i have to write here so any message to the aspirants uh, any message to the people that are preparing now from you yes this is the toughest part <laughs> as i said you have to be patient because it is a long process uh, see it is uh, compared to upsc it is a shorter process but mm-hmm. still in absolute terms it takes several months so you have to have patience you have to dedicate your time for that even if you are preparing for other exams iske liye time to dena hai and uh, 
you will hear toppers saying consistency hona zaruri hai you have to start, put in at least 6 hours 7 hours every day but how will you get consistency that is by discipline how will you get discipline by being clear about your goals and uh, apne aap ko samjha lo ki mujhe ye jo bhi padhna hai theek se padhna hai aur exam clear karna hai exam ke liye jo bhi zaruri hai main wo karne ko taiyar hu i am ready for anything that comes so wo kind of attitude ek attitude wala wo to sabse main hai aur motivation ka jaise ki apne pehle bola tha ki uh, i spent 6 years in uh, for in preparing for exams so kon hote rehta hai but zid zid bhi zaruri hai kyunki zid nahi hogi to fir nahi hoga aur aapko jhukna nahi hai yeah true and yeah sir we have learned a lot of things from sir sir has also saw, uh, shown uh, through the examples that how you can prepare well how you can manage everything and how you can make your own uh, things how you can strategize yourself and that you have to do like uh, we have learned a lot from sir and i hope that you all will be able to uh, catch the things and put in into your own preparation so thank you very much sir it was really great talking to you and it was really nice such in a calm way you were able to you were giving all the answers and uh, i can see that how how you want the aspirants to be successful like it shows that how much you have prepared like you can just come and say anything you want uh, but actually you have put the efforts to show everything to open the pdfs and you have put that effort so that shows that you actually care about the people and that is really nice nice of you sir because i have learned from others so i want to give back yeah and that is really nice uh, uh, step i can say that you have taken that actually you have showed through your uh, uh, behavior that through your efforts that okay you can do this much and i hope that aspirants would have that humbleness and uh, everything and must have learned a lot from you thank you so much sir for coming thank you for having me thank you